Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to be doing a product review of the Basilisk Essential Gaming Mouse. Um, the Razer Basilisk Essential Gaming Mouse. So the purpose of this mouse is meant to be a high performance peripheral um, that is used by gamers. And this is meant to be one of the cheaper end of this Razer um, Basilisk brand. So. I actually bought this mouse because uh, my mouse at that time was uh, was broken so I wanted something that was quite durable and I can use for a long time without having to change any batteries or um, having to worry about anything. So and let's look at the build quality of this. So this is actually made of plastic um, and then as you can see over here you have the two, so the left click and the right click, you have the scroll wheel. Uh, and it has a nice little grip to it as well, and it's quite tactile if you can listen to it. And then it has a DPI button on top. So there are four, uh, uh, no, sorry, there are five DPI settings, and then you can actually change these DPI settings according to whatever you want in the Razer uh, app. Um, for in order to how in order to show you how I should do that, I have made a second video, and then I'll make it. Uh, I'll upload it later on, and then you can see it in my channel. Um, so on the side, you have like a uh, kind of a rubber grip on the side, and it has quite a um, textured feel to it as well. And then it has uh, two buttons, and uh, these are the forward and backward buttons. And you have a hyper shift uh, pedal here. Um, I don't have this pedal with me, uh, but you can actually eclipse onto the side, and then you meant to use it like uh, this, where it just clicks on here. And then while you're using these two, uh, you can actually use that pedal here. On the other side, it has also a textured grip to it. Um, it's a bit worn out now, but yeah, it has a textured grip to it. Over here in the middle, you have a Razer logo. Uh, this logo actually lights up uh, when you plug it into your laptop. Uh, let me just plug it into my... And as you can see, um, I've set mine to purple and then... Oh sorry, it just goes to RGB. Um, so it just changes colour now. Um, it doesn't have any onboard memory, so you can't just have uh, leave it purple or leave a different colour um, on just the mouse itself. If you do want to do that, then you need to use the uh, Razer app and then uh, set it each time. Uh, you don't have to set it each time, but you need to load the Razer app in your uh, computer uh, for this to have that memory um, function of just staying one static color if that's what you want. Um, so on the back side you have... Um, hold on. So on the back side you have uh, this soft padded which uh, makes it smoother to glide on the table and you have the optical sensor. So the build quality is um, everything is plastic, um, it has a quite a nice weight to it, um, I didn't measure all of it myself, I just searched up online and it says the Razer Basilisk is um, 100 and 112 grams. Uh, excluding the cable so this whole thing is apparently sorry just this mouse piece is uh, 112 grams uh, ex excluding this cable so it's a pretty decent weight to it um, it's not too light um, it's lighter than some of my mouses that my friends use but yeah I I really like it so in terms of the actual hand placement um, my hand goes really nicely to it this is, has kind of this like slanted, um, slanted uh, position to it. I'm right. This I mean, this mouse can only be used by uh, right-handed people, I think, because if it's left-handed, it's going to be extremely uncomfortable. So my right hand goes really nice, uh, nice into it. My thumb. Uh, what I really like about it is my thumb sits on it like this, um, rather than just hanging off places. Um, my pinky does tend to drop, my pinky and my ring finger does tend to drop, but uh, I think it's completely fine. But sometimes what I like to do is I just um, use my pinky as an anchor and then just do this sometimes. Um, because I'm, uh, I don't really know why I do this, but yeah, I tend to do that sometimes when I use it. 
So this is what this mouse actually sounds like. Once again. So yeah, as you can uh, hear, uh, this is actually quite tactile. It sounds very tactile, and um, yeah, so it's it's quite a nice, loud, crunchy cl uh, click to it, and I actually really like it. Um, I use it at university libraries. It's not too loud; like it doesn't. If you go to the extremely quiet area in the li library, it's not going to disturb other people. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's quite nice and loud, um, and I really like it because I can actually feel the click. Um, and then, like for example, my earlier mouse that I um, did a product review on in uh, the one that I bought on Amazon, uh, Vegco one. Um, that one I can't actually hear any clicks, so I do find that a bit weird in some sense. But um, this one I really like it because I can actually hear the click very well. Uh, compared to that one So uh, the cable itself um, so over here you kind of have this uh, This thing here is like a plasticky rubber piece. Uh, so your cable doesn't you know, Your cable tries not to break as easily. So uh, the cable itself is really nice and nicely braided um, So you can see here, so it's really nice and it feels very durable as well Um it's it's black it's pure black and it's braided the only downside i guess is um like i said in my uh, hyperx video video that if you are going to um clean this um it does attract dust quite easily that's one two if you're going to clean it using rubbing alcohol or any uh, liquid uh, i don't know uh, I don't recommend using any liquids, but if you're using, uh, I usually use like rubbing alcohol or then alcohol wipe. Um, it does tend to stick in here a little longer, so just leave a little, uh, leave it to actually dry out. I don't know, like 10, 10 20 minutes, and then actually start using it. Um, I don't know what would happen if you use it while it was wet with the alcohol. Um, but I don't want to try either, so <laughs> if you guys try then sure let me know what happens. So on this side you have the Razer logo with the um, USB type A port. Um, as you can see it's, it's Razer on both sides and it's a classic Razer black and green um, colors. And then uh, for this one I just tied it up because I don't really need this much cable length uh, running around my computer um, table. Uh, this cable length is about uh, 1.4 or 1.8 meters. Um, I don't really remember. I'll uh, drop down a li link below so you can uh, check it out. Uh, but yeah, it's a very long uh, cable length. So if you're using one of those, uh, if you're using a PC and then um, if it's down uh, if it's under your table or if it's your, if you're using like a PC tower and it's under your table um, Yeah, this would reach re This would have enough cable length to reach that so that's absolutely fine and cable length in this This got you covered um, So Let's see what else is there So there are some patterns on the side. So this is all matte black as you can see so there are some glossy finishes uh, along the sides of this um, that I think is nice touch to it um, yeah then that the, the mouse looks quite kind of like bland or bland compared to other mice but um, in terms of actually hooking this up and then having the RGB it does look a bit old and bland but um, I really like it. I, I like how it looks. I, I I like I really like how it feels, especially this thumb rest. Um, so I really enjoy having this around. So in terms of the price, so I actually bought this um, second hand from uh, one of the people that I knew. I bought this for about ten quid, 
so that's a really big bargain uh, the guy that's been using this has been using this for more than a year um, yeah there's as you can see there's noticeable wear in it um, I think he used it for gaming and then kind of like dug his nail here and then there's some um, uh, over here the that's meant to be like tactile um, rubber here uh, like as you can see but most of it is kind of like worn out yeah I bought this for about 10 pounds um, second hand but if you were going to buy it online on Amazon it would cost you 59 pounds and 99 pence so you, it will cost you 60 pounds uh, if you're gonna buy it on Amazon so it is fairly expensive but um, I bought it for second hand so I got it as a very cheap price to it um, so in terms of compatibility um, I can actually use this very well in my I, I use the Windows laptop Lenovo Legion um, I can use this very well on my Lenovo Legion without having to update any drivers or anything. It's just literally plug and play. Um, at the same time, if I use one of these adapters here uh, from USB Type A to USB C, I can actually plug this into my iPad. Um, I'm using a uh, iPad Air. Uh, I don't know which generation, but it's it's the latest iPad Air. I'm using an iPad Air, so if I just plug in like this and plug into my iPad, I can actually use this um, with on my iPad as well if I wanted to. And so I think that's a pretty cool thing. Um, at the same time, I can actually plug into my uh, uh, what's it called, my MacBook Pro, uh, which is really good. Uh, so this mouse is can be used on all the devices that I have, and it hasn't failed me in any device uh, yet. So in terms of compatibility, I think this should be fine for everything. Um, so yeah, so this is my uh, final product review of this Razer Basilic Essentials. So um, yeah, so overall, I think this is a really nice gaming mouse. Um, I got it into uh, I got it as a very cheap price because I bought it second hand. But if you're gonna buy it, it does cost sixty pounds. So. In my opinion, I wouldn't pay £60 for this because, um, you know, I'm a university student, don't have much money and uh, paying £60 for this does seem quite steep, but um, but uh, at the end of the day, I really enjoy this having this mouse, so yeah, I wouldn't buy it for that much, I would wait until it drops down value or if you can buy it for second hand, which is much cheaper. I'd buy it then. So um, sixty pounds, I wouldn't go too far. But yeah, other than that, in terms of the mouse quality, I really enjoy this mouse. All right, see you next time.